west coast of the Amrara Road Improvement Project has been commissioned. The project was funded by the Caribbean Development Bank and the government of Guyana. Here's that report. At the ceremony at the De William Tarmac, Minister of Public Infrastructure David Patterson said that the project's completion is evidence of the government's commitment to the development of the country's public infrastructure. Today's commissioner ceremony of the West Coast of Damarara Highway Road Improvement Project reiterates government's commitment to continued infrastructural development across Guyana at a standard that aims to drive focus beyond routine rehabilitation of road works. These modernized features along this 30.7-kilometer 30 West Coast Highway emphasizes the importance of this conduit among regions in providing safe road access to community residents and commuters alike. The completion of the rehabilitation of this road is timely as the West Coast of Demerara and Region 3 as a whole is a growing hub for continued sectoral development. Highlighting the important role of construction and public infrastructure in the country was Minister of State Joseph Harmon. Construction plays a key role in the socio-economic development of any country. It is through construction that vital infrastructure like roads, bridges and airports are put in place. The government recognizes public infrastructure as a key element in our development, linking our coastland and our hinterland our rural and urban communities, and enabling us to access our natural resources. This first component of the Fort Road project has been in existence for three years, and you've heard much about that. But I'm advised that due to the existence of this project, a road that had deteriorated badly three years ago is now fully refurbished and expanded for the ease of travel and safety of our citizens, especially the people of Region 3. The West Coast Demerara Road Improvement Project was officially launched on Thursday, March 20, 2014. The project has brought the rehabilitation of 30.7 km of primary roads, school road safety education program with 1,625 students benefiting, general road safety awareness campaigns, two West Coast Demerara bridges replaced and rehabilitated, capacity development, additional street lighting, and has had approximately 100,000 primary beneficiaries. Reporting for InfoHub, Stefan Gabriel.